wanted to do this video for you guys and show you how I take and edit my own Christmas pictures that I did this year. If you follow me on Instagram, you already saw two of the boys' Christmas pictures. Um, so I thought I would show you guys how I do my own Christmas pictures and edit them myself for so much cheaper than paying someone else to do them. So these are the props that I used, or the things that I had. Um, we just had, if your baby can't sit up, like Remington is only three months, so he's not sitting up yet. So I used his Bumbo, and I just set a white sheet inside of here to kind of cover up the bright green, obviously. Um, so yeah, something that your baby can sit up in if they are not sitting yet or standing. Um, so I used that. I used, actually got this as a gift, or this was a box of a gift that we got from my brother-in-law last year and it's just this really decorative box and I'm not sure where they got this it doesn't say but you could probably find a big box like this at probably Walmart or Hallmark or, or um, maybe Joann's um, so yeah we used this for some of the pictures and then we I went to Joann's and got these really cheap pieces of fabric. I actually got these a couple years ago so I'm not sure how much I spent on them but they're very like thin and they just got like little sparkles on them so they're really pretty and I got a red one and a silver and I use those for um, them to sit on for the Christmas photos. I got each of the boys because I wanted them to have matching outfits because I saw all these pictures on Pinterest of course and they look so cute so I got the, boy, the boys matching um, leg warmers some people say leg warmers are not for boys but I thought they looked super cute so I got them they're little candy cane leg warmers and I got these off of Etsy site for five bucks each so it was only ten dollars for both of them and I will link her um, I'll put her link below but yeah, I got the matching leg warmers. Okay, so also for photo props, you can use any kind of like Christmas balls you want or any special Christmas ornaments or even a little Christmas tree that you want. And I just got like this long garland thing of Christmas balls. And I think I got these at Joann's a couple years ago. I think it was after Christmas. They're only like 10 bucks, but I got those at Joann's and I use those in my photos as well. And then some sort of background, you can either use like your Christmas tree, um, you can use like a Christmas fabric, kind of like that, you can use a white sheet. Um, I decided to go with some Christmas lights, you can use um, colored Christmas lights or you can just use the plain, um, the plain ones like those. It's all up to you, you can just make your photo shoot however you want it and you can even use like the big bulbs if you want as well. And then the last thing I used um, is their Christmas hats, and I got these made by someone here locally, and I only paid like 20 bucks for both of their hats, and I think they are so cute, and again, I, of course I got their matching ones because I thought they would go really good together, and then Remington's and Caden's, and they are just so cute, so... That is all that I used. Um, so pretty inexpensive compared to how much you would honestly pay a professional photographer to take their pictures and plus how much it would cost to get the pictures printed and stuff like that. So now I'm gonna show you how I set it all up and take their photos. So Remington is joining us. He just got up from his nap. I think he had a air bubble in there because he was crying and I picked him up and he let out a big burp. Come buddy. Yeah. So he's going to join us for the rest of this video. sleeping baby right there so I gotta be kind of quiet when I tell you guys how I edit their photos. So the photo editing software that I use, or it's not really a software but it's a website, it's called PicMonkey and it's just PicMonkey.com and parts of it are free, parts of it you can 
um, you can pay like a monthly fee for, which is what I do. It's only like 30 bucks for a whole year. And their features are amazing. And so you're just going to go to edit and click on computer and find whichever photo you want. And I already have one up here, and this is one I haven't actually edited yet, so you guys are going to see me how I edit these. Um, so there's this picture of Caden that's, he's sitting in the box with his hat and everything, and usually the first thing I do is crop it. But this picture, in my opinion, doesn't need any cropping, so I'm going to leave it how it is. And then the next thing I do is I go over and click on, what I'm going to click on is exposure right here, and that's just where I edit um, the brightness or the contrast and... All I'm going to do to this one is up the contrast just a little bit. And you can also just do like the shadow part and make that darker. And so that looks good to me. So I'm going to leave that. Um, usually the next thing I'll do is I'll go in and you can edit like beauty effects. And it has like, oops, that's not it. It has um, blemish fix or you can airbrush their skin. Um, shine reduce if they have a really shiny face. Um, other than that, that's pretty much all I use is just the airbrush and sometimes the teeth whitener or the eye brighten. And there's a ton of other features you can use. Um, nip tuck, weight loss, the clone to tool is something I also use quite a bit. Um, but for this picture, I am just going to probably use the airbrush just a little bit to smooth out his skin. And then I zoom in here so I can actually see what I'm doing go up and I usually you can choose the fade which is like how strong you want the tool to be so I'm gonna turn down the fade and turn down the brush size and just go over any little parts that are kinda like the colors um, different and I'm just gonna go smooth over some of those under his eyes I think he actually has syrup on his forehead in this picture so whoops on that part but um, yeah so I usually just go like under the eyes and sometimes like down here but other than that I leave it because I don't want it to be like blurred out and not look natural so I'm gonna leave that and then I'm gonna zoom back out so I can see my whole picture and the next thing I do is I go into um, filters and I choose any filters that I want the ones I usually use are um, intraped or dusk and these kind of give like I like the dusk one because it gives a little bit more of a warmer feel which is what I'm kind of going for for the Christmas pictures so I like that one I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit and add that on there because I love the looks of that right now um, and then intraped also just kind of darkens it but I don't really like it for the colors on this picture so I'm not gonna add that one on there um, another thing that I do for, that I did f actually for the two of their Christmas pictures, um, again, they're filters, and I just go down and click on bokeh shapes, and I'll click on that, and the ones I used for their Christmas pictures were just the little, not the stars, but I don't know what you'd call these, the sparkle ones right here in the center, it just looks like a plus sign right there, and then you can add that and it goes over his face so I don't want it I don't like there to be sparkles on his face so what I'm gonna do is click on um, original picture and I'm just gonna erase any ones that are like on his face or on his body where wherever I don't want the sparkles to be there's some on his arm and then that way it's just kinda going with the background of my lights and I think that's what makes it look really cute is the sparkles the lights it kinda just makes it look more glowy and Christmassy. So you can also um, change the size sparkles and you can make them smaller or bigger. I like them a little bit smaller. I think that looks really good how it is right now. Um, I might go in, there's also some like Christmas theme ones down here. You click on the little snowflake and there's like all these different like themes and stickers and stuff for holidays and there's Santa Land and there's Winterland. I'm going to click on the Winterland one because they have a couple filters on here um, or I guess they call them effects. You, there's a frost, a chill, or a snowfall one where you can make it look like there's it's snowing. So I'm going to try the frost one and see it's 
it puts white around the edges, but it's a little more than I like. So you can turn down the intensity. I like how that looks. So you can just do it however you want it. So then I'm going to add that filter to it. And you can also, for their Christmas pictures, I also added, if you go back to the snowflake and click on Santa Land, there is some season messages that you can add to their photos. And the ones I just put were Merry Christmas. And I also added 2014, which is in the text part over here. I just clicked a curly font and put the year 2014 down there. And so that is how I edited their Christmas picture. Super simple. And I absolutely love editing photos. That's a hobby of mine so I decided to just do their Christmas pictures on my own and I thought it would be so much cheaper than paying someone else to do their pictures for me and that way I can kind of edit them and um, make them how exactly I want them so I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know if you do your own Christmas pictures or tag me in them and I will talk to you guys on my next video bye